Leading St. Louis medical official is turning up the heat on individuals and groups who are critical of the COVID-19 vaccine. News 11 medical reporter Dan Gray is live with more on this story. Dan. tonight and within the last month the the Bush Stadium has become a fully capacity uh, capacity we are we are having some issues now also within the last month there's been a number of efforts to get more people vaccinated while the criticism of that vaccine has increased number of individuals number of groups have been criticizing the vaccine. Well, now the head of the St. Louis Metropolitan Pandemic Task Force says do not listen to the critics. Those they've been strongly critical of the group of the individuals and groups, and they've questioned whether the COVID vaccines have been rushed through production, whether they would be safe or effective. Some have labeled the vaccine as experimental because it has not yet received full approval by the FDA. Some others question whether the vaccine will cause infertility or change a person's DNA or alter an immune system. Well, about 60% of the population in the St. Louis region is still hesitant or unwilling to get the shots. The head of the St. Louis Metropolitan Pandemic Task Force says, do not believe the critics. Individuals who are still holding out, some are waiting for the FDA to approve the vaccine. That is a formality in our, our um, view, um, but we do believe it will come. Others have uh, other opposition to the vaccine, and we're trying to work our way through those reasons and show people that these vaccines are literally among the safest, most effective vaccines ever produced. And really, you should not listen to people who tell you otherwise. The facts are incontrovertible with billions of doses having been administered. Now, the pandemic task force says one year ago when vaccines were not available in the region, the COVID numbers in the area were better than they are today with the vaccine. Now, as the Delta variant virus spreads, 253 COVID patients are hospitalized, 89 in ICU. And I reached out to some individuals and groups who have been critical of the vaccine, have not yet heard back from them. In downtown St. Louis, Dan Gray, News 11.